All right, how are you guys doing? Yeah. All right, this is fun. It's fun to be up here. I, uh, I'm getting a little, I, you know, I feel like this winter I've been feeling out that I'm, I'm older. Like I've been saying things I wouldn't have said as a young man. Like three times this winter I caught myself warning people about ice. Just strange. A group of girls didn't take me seriously enough on Clark Street. I told them, black ice is the real deal. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but I'm actually not that upset about it because I, I believe that middle-aged white guys are actually the most hilarious people in the world on accident. <laughs> like, I try and make people laugh for a living, but the truth of it is, I could never write anything that's as funny as just the way my dad naturally talks. <laughs> but my dad would always walk into a room and say the most hilarious thing you ever heard. Like, I remember, like, one time, real distinctly, like, me and my buddies were in, like, like, like freshman year of high school, we're watching this real sexy music video. It was, um, it was Paul Abdul's Cold Hearted Snake. Yeah! <laughs> Dad says, like, real sexy in there. Like, we're all watching this, and we're just glued to the TV, and my dad walks in. It's like me and my three best friends. My dad walks in, he looks at the TV, and then he looks at us, and he just says, oh, 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 spicy menu, fellas, and then walks right out of the room. Like, there's nothing any comic could write that would be as funny as that kind of an entrance. Like, ooh, la, la, where are her legs at? And then they always leave in slippers. I'm starting to get old, though. Like, like things really are coming out of my mouth that I, I have no control over. Uh, a couple weeks back, I lost my cell phone on the Lincoln bus. Luckily, like a good Samaritan found it. He called my wife is saved in my contacts as my wife. So he called my wife and he's like, "Hey, I think I have your husband's cell phone, but the battery's about to die. Like, tell him to get up here. I'm at Clark and Howard." And I'm like, "Oh, thank God!" So I fly up to Clark and Howard. I get up there. I'm like the only white guy in like nine blocks, you know? <laughs> so I sort of stick out, you know? And um, this guy pulls up with his son, and it, it, like, it was almost like a beautiful father-son image. Like they're blasting music and just dancing to this music. And the dad points at me and he goes, Sean? And I go, yes. And he goes, all right. And he does a Yui over to me. And he, he pulls up, he's like, this is my son. He's the one who found your phone. And I say, oh, thank God, you guys are lifesavers. And I only had 20 bucks, but I say, you know, I, I would like for you to have this $20. Will you accept it? Because you're, you're really helping me out here. And the dad says, well, you know, you don't have to give us any money. You don't, you don't have to give us any money, but if you want to give a, if, I will allow my son to accept it if you want to give money. And I, I couldn't think of what to say, and I just look at this teenager, and I uh, just came out of me. I go, you get yourself some ice cream. <laughs> That is the whitest thing I have ever said. I was so embarrassed, I ran away. I think I just couldn't think because you can't live without a cell phone anymore. Like, 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 like you don't know numbers. I don't know a single number without my cell phone. It's gotten to the point, I don't even know how many digits are in a fucking number anymore. I mean, you really, like, your cell phone thinks for you now. Like, I think computers and cell phones think for us now. Like, I used to be really good at spelling, for example. Then they introduced spell checkers. Now I cannot spell at all. I used to be very good at math. Then they let me start using calculators on tests. Now I can't do math in my head. But with Google, I don't even allow my brain to remember facts anymore. <laughs> and I had this, and I'm going to leave you on this. I had this very revealing conversation that I think sums up how much, how dependent we are on cell phones. I had a buddy come into town. I'm from Cleveland. He flew in from Cleveland. All right, Cleveland is, okay. He flew into O'Hare, though. He flies into O'Hare, and he takes the blue line to Irving Park, and he calls me. He's like, hey, I just got off the blue line at Irving Park. Which way do I head to your place? And I say, uh, well, you need to head east. He goes, well, which way is east? I say, well, I mean, I don't know which way you're facing. I go, why don't we do this, though? It's like 7 p.m. I say, oh, why don't you look at which way the sun is setting and then head in the opposite direction? That'll, that'll be east. And his response, which I think summarizes my generation, he says, oh, come on, dude. There's got to be an easier way. <laughs> That's how intellectually lazy we 
are. Then in the year 2011, we won't even look at the fucking sky to solve a problem. Like, you know, unless you get that answer on my cell phone. Apple, do you have an app for that? Which way is my friend facing.com? All right, that's my time. Thank you very much.